It's Jose Trujillo, I'm an artist. I just wanted to make this quick video here in my studio about a question that keeps popping up as I started making these videos. Different questions have been sent emails from, from different artists. And this question comes from artists. And the question is, I've been creating my artwork, I've been, you know, putting myself out there and still haven't gotten uh, much exposure or sales, much less sales. What can I do? Um, my, my first impression of that was, well, maybe they're not, you know, they're not working to get their stuff out there hard enough because that's nine out of 10. That's really the, where the, 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 a lot of the effort is, but this is, this is something I never talk about guys, because I believe this is obvious, but I guess it's not that obvious. You need to be able to have put in the, your, the practice in your craft. Now, this doesn't mean that it has to look like certain people or someone else. Because I know some, some artists have, have told me, Oh man, you need to practice your craft. You need to practice your craft. I've been painting for over 20 years. I've practiced my craft. I know what it's supposed to look like. Um, but I know that it's not supposed to look like this or like that. Or like, you know, I, I know what my stuff looks like. Because I've worked and worked and worked on it. It doesn't matter if it looks like Peter Max or it looks like Andy Warhol's or it looks like Picasso's or it looks like John Singer Sargent, you know? <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what your artwork looks like. What does matter is that you put in the effort to work on your craft. And that is really the first thing. And I noticed that a lot of artists want to jump in steps uh, and really not practice the, the, the work first, put in the time and, 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 and really, you know, get the, 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 not just the creative juices, but the practice, the constant, the discipline of, of uh, let's say you want to create artwork like, like Peter Max, right? And you're like, oh, that's so simple. Oh, well, well, it's so, it's so, but if you start, you know, if you, if those of you who, who uh, know what I'm talking about, if you see there, there was skill to it. There was skill to it. There was practice to it. It's not just because, oh, it's so pop and it's so simple. Yes, it's simple, but there's, there's a skill. There's a skill set. And, and, and in any type of artwork, any artist that, that, that puts their self out there and that we know their name, even though we, don't, we, we may not like the work. Uh, Picasso's one of them. People are always like, oh, Picasso, Picasso, Matisse, Matisse, Matisse. But these are people that, that had skills. And then they just, they just stretched, right? And then they did different stuff. So I guess the bottom line is that you have to be able to practice on your skills, guys. If your stuff is not, if people are not uh, uh, responding to your stuff or it's not selling, uh, chances are you haven't practiced the skill and you just, you know, you want to. And, and, and this is something I don't really talk about because I believe, I, I thought I was under the assumption that, that this was common sense. But... Um, uh, I guess it's not okay. So I wanted to touch on that before you want to take your stuff to the market. Before you, you know, you you want to, uh, I don't know, get a, a gallery exhibits or this or that. You have to be able to own your skill first, guys, because otherwise, otherwise, uh, you're putting the cart before the horses. You have to put the horses first, and that means you show up to the studio and you know, and you'll know when 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 uh, when you've own your skill set. You'll know that. Uh, when I say go, 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 don't worry about it. Become loose. I'm talking about. I'm talking about if you already put in the time, and you still feel tight. Okay. But if you haven't put in the time, uh, keep practicing. <laughs> when, when you guys see my videos, and I'm talking about like like go, you know, don't worry about it. Don't don't think about. Um, um, the, the, the values, the this, the that, <coughs> the, the color, complementary colors and all of that. I, I'm trying to say, don't let that stop you in so you can move forward. But I'm not, I'm not trying to say, look, if you just go, go, go and, and, and you don't practice and you don't own your skill set. Uh, you can start, you know, promoting your work and selling your work. You may not be ready, guys. And I'm not talking about ready as in, it's, it, because it's a fine line. It's, 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 uh, well, it's not that fine, but, but you have to be able to have the skill set first. I'm, I'm really, what, what I express on a daily basis on my videos is, is I'm talking about 
the mental barriers. Once you already put your practice and you have a skill set and you have mental barriers that, that make you believe that you're not good enough, you have to break those. But if you haven't put in the practice and you haven't put in the work, uh, you have to do that first. It's very, very important. Otherwise, otherwise you're going to scratch your head and you'll be like, well, what's going on? Well, what's going on is that, is that uh, you're not a working artist yet. You, you're an artist. You, you love to, to create artwork, but you, you haven't developed the skill of a working artist. You know, that daily discipline of, of creating uh, uh, those practices that makes us artists, right? It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's not, I don't, I don't, I don't want to confuse you in thinking that it's not because I know some people have, have talked to me about it and say, well, I want to do what you're doing. You, you know, of course you can, you know, but you have to put in the work so that people can, can, can see the skill. It doesn't matter what you paint like. This is what I always talk about. It doesn't matter what, what there's always some type of, uh, for whatever work, there's always a, 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 a community or, or, or people that, that, a collector that likes what you do for any type of work. Of course there is. I mean, just look at, an, uh, uh, look at it in a gallery or look at a, think of any artist. And, and, you know, from Raphael to, like I say, to Peter Max, there's always someone for that type of, uh, of artwork. But you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to practice the skill do not think that you don't have to, that you have to skip that step. When I talk about, doesn't matter how you paint or what you paint like, I'm not talking about, it doesn't matter if you don't know how to paint, okay? <laughs> I just want to make that clear. You have to learn how to do it. You have to, you have to own the skill. And then it doesn't matter, right? I just wanted to make that clear, guys, because I've been getting emails and from people that, that tell me, uh, I don't know what's going on, my stuff is not, you know, people are not responding, people are not... Uh, you have to ask yourself, how long have you been painting for? How long have you been working? Uh, how much skill set have you developed? It's very important to ask yourself that and be honest with yourself. So that it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It means you have to continue to practice. Okay? In order to, 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 to create a connection with people. People recognize skill. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay? Again, I know I'm beating that dead horse. But it doesn't matter what, you, what, what type of artwork or ism you create. People sniff skill. They do. It just, it's just a matter. It's just a fact. Uh, I'll leave you with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. Take care, guys. Till next time.